G'day everyone, Hobbit81 here, thanks to Hobbit Gaming, and we are back on the Gen X server. <clears throat> Please do excuse my voice, I'm a little bit croaky at the moment. Um, yes, all the series are coming thick and fast now, got the crafting dead and realms back up, and I'll be doing some more um, XCOM as soon as well. I really do enjoy playing that game. Um, so yeah, today we're on the Gen X server. Um, I have not been active as... as I open the door, don't I? Eh, eh. And go. There we go. Not so dramatic. Open. Go. There we go. I have not been nearly as active as I would have liked to have been on the server and everyone has done some amazing stuff on here. Next episode is going to be a server tour. I'm going to get some people who know things much better than me to come and take us around and show some things. Um, particularly Joe the Monk said he wants to give me a tour of his end base, which I have not even seen ever once. So that was going to be awesome. He's got some surprises there for me. Um, I have been working on my little hobbit hole here. I'm just going to get back into normal mode and show you all what I've been doing. Um, I've been setting up some things for recording today. These are uh, like some sort of crazy tendrils going on here, but this is how I do my landscaping usually. And I'm going to do some on camera with you guys. A uh, quick look at my tools in case you're wondering. I've still got this uh, pickaxe, which was also a present from Joe. Uh, it's a beautiful thing with mending. All I have to do is put it in my offhand, go to the Enderman farm, kill some Endermen, or any any of the XP farms I've got set up here. Uh, I've got a decent shovel, just unbreaking, normal axe, a really good bow. I can't get flame on it. I'm going to try again next time for flame, but it has got mending and infinity. So that um, makes me happy. Um, because of everyone's just amazing work and generosity, I get to use things like there's ender pearls near spawn that you can just come and grab, and one of the best things, um, live from Hollywood, has made a giant iron golem farm, which we'll be covering off next episode as well. Uh, it's simply amazing, so you can just go and just get iron for days and days and days. Um, so yeah, <coughs> pardon me. What I wanted to show you, and I think I've shown you in the first video, was um, this whole hill here is all Hobbit made. I uh, was quite surprised. A few people, they didn't expect this to be a, a, a man-made hill, Hobbit-made hill, uh, but it is. That's what I do. I'm going to do some nice uh, terraforming. So what I do is I sort of look what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to connect this hill over to here um, and I look at the shape of the hills that are around and then I sort of just go pretty much freehand and set up these um, supports or these uh, sort of tendrils and what we do is so we come over here and we look so it's up there so we might start here go straight up you didn't see that and I will have to go on the outside as well like I'm not going to leave this just sheer like that that'll need some filling out but I'm trying to get the main shape done first so we come out you take a bit of a turn I'm not really counting or anything here but I will have a look see how we're gonna join it and we might go up one more here beautiful that's another one done and then you can come up to somewhere like here fill that out Like that and this can be completely hollow that's fine because I'm going to be putting an interior on it uh, but using wood I'm still deciding on my color scheme I've been watching quite a few videos um, specifically of like collections of screenshots from the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings movie that uh, feature inside Bag End which if you don't know is the name of um, Bilbo's house there we go like that looks good and we need some more over here, so let's come over here for a minute. So I've been looking at um, a lot of the sh um, screenshots from the movies. I've also just recently watched all of the Hobbit movies with my eldest daughter. Um, we had a deal if she read all the books, or read the book, The Hobbit, obviously, I'm thinking of Lord of the Rings now. If she read the book, then she could watch the movie. Maybe, um, I was the one reading it to her, but that's all counts. And... We did the same thing with Harry Potter. She had to read each of the Harry Potter books before she was allowed to watch the movie. I think the uh, movie spoils the books quite a bit because just how much vastly better the books are to the movie. Alright, some more dirt. Plenty of dirt in my inventory. Build up here. Uh, also, I talked about some of my plans on the server. I've still got to work on my villager brood over here. Well, actually, the villager brood apart, that's done. That thing is super efficient. Um, I've got heaps of villagers down below waiting to be sorted 
it's the sorting part that I need to work on. There we go. Now the height that I'm making this, well, it should be big enough to, for me to put in a full roof. Plus, I think I'll be hiding some storage in what would be like attic space. So I'll probably make a separate um, thing up top for additional storage. This is my main spawn base, but I'll also be working on um, a second base that I sort of started on on a previous iteration of the, the Gen X server uh, in an ice bike biome. And if you've watched uh, my previous um, videos on the old Gen X, would know about that. Uh, it basically, it's going to have a massive 3D uh, pixel art uh, dragon, which I've never done before. So that's going to be an experience, learning experience. We'll do that together. Actually, I might just quickly nip inside for a nap. I think I do have my larger wings on. I get mixed up. When you do two vanilla servers, you push the wrong button. When you do two vanilla servers and you... Um, you got to remember, oh, wait, no, I had the larger wings on that one. And I do have them on... Um, my vanilla realms, but they're actually in a chest at the moment until I can get a mending book, fortunately. Um, I think it's also Joe's shop as well. So Joe does a lot of work here, as you can tell. Uh, Joe has a mending villager that you can use. You pay one diamond to get in, and then you have to bring your own emeralds and whatnot. Whoa, whoa, hello. Whoop. Come on. There we go. Really don't like baby zombies. They are too fast for their own good, and they do not burn. And up, shot. Whoop, miss. Not today. Whoop, come on. So fast, so strong, no. Oh, oh, come on. That would have been embarrassing, wouldn't it? Really not a fan. So yeah, I got a mending book for my Elijah wings. So anytime I get experience, they get repaired. Do do do. do. Right, I was working on this part over here, wasn't I? Right, so this is shaping up nicely. If you had silk touch on your shovel, obviously you could be using grass instead of dirt, but this is fine. This is fine. The grass will all spread onto this. Um, I think I will bring the hill mostly flat, undulate it a bit up here. Uh, I'm trying to get a view of it. Yep, that's good. And then bring it back down again and have a lot of this vertical space exposed. So we're going to keep it down quite a bit here. The best thing about dirt and doing this is you really just don't overthink it too much. Get some more. That way you'll keep it more org organ organic. Organic. A new word for today, everyone. Organic. Organic. Yeah, there we go. That might work better. Um, I don't like that one though. I will actually leave the down bit there. Where do you? Of course, dirt's so easy to um, dig up again, so it's not really a problem. Let's build this out flat a bit. And we're going to build it up a little bit like this. But also keep it low. Whoops. Here we go. Down. So this whole slope sort of coming down this angle. So I might actually just clear a bit of this off. The next big thing I want to also do is um, off camera I'll do a lot of mining and get some more diamonds so that I can make some better tools. And armor, I want to be able to take out the dragon. Uh, first video is on me with everyone else and I still managed to get my ass whooped and it wasn't by the dragon though, we actually beat the dragon but I wasn't any help at all. And I got a kill by Enderman, so <laughs> I definitely want to kill the um, Ender Dragon myself and we need Wither Skulls to make a beacon. Um, that would be very handy once I get to the ice spike biome. Alright, we're just about done here, I think. On this part, anyway. Some more. I like that. And then once I've got the main sort of dome done, I meant to do that so I can do some on the inside. Once I get most of the moon sort of dome part done, I'll go around the outside and then blend it together. This is my style. This is the way I do it. Do you do it any differently? How would you tackle a project like this? Put a comment in the down under section and maybe we can start a discussion about it. I know in modern Minecraft to get that really handy um, building guide you can use, but 
you can't won't do things like this it won't make a freeform structure let's see might just shave a bit off here I'm also going to have to be careful as I cover this up I need to light it up and then have to flatten this out scoop that out a bit more and then we can get started on the wood I'm not sure if there's a good tree farm yet uh, at least an automatic one I'm pretty sure that it's either uh, I think it's egg has a manual one uh, over that way not too far past the statues let's see this is looking pretty good disorientating from under here all the dirt above let's see alright so once again we've got the main tendrils here and we're just sort of going to join them together let's bring that up to it so we get some like undulations going on that's what helps make it look more natural is if it sort of goes up and down in places this is a big empty area here I think I might actually put another support out like this don't be afraid to get underneath it and make it come down a bit uh, is that lining up? It's close enough alright now sort of stair wise coming across, come across three four and then down stair wise or stair like like that and this time I'm going to come across just three uh, down two you can leave some steep bits as well that's okay if you want to come back and adjust I'm going to do that the same bring these guys up to meet and fill it in just a little bit more leave two there, make it a little bit steeper that'll add for some nice variation very relaxing this actually you're not getting attacked by zombies sort of like uh, this gardening, it's nice and gentle relaxing, very zen like make this bit sharp I think so like that and then let's see whoops that's not where I wanted it to be I'm actually going to make this too high a bit here I was going to come back and put in windows and stuff but that's only after I've gone inside and organized all the um, windows and layouts for everything I've been looking at uh, different maps of Bag End as well there are quite a few different ones online I'm going to pick the one that I think best represents what a hobbit hole should be um, usually a sort of a central uh, hallway with the rooms coming off it I called larder for storing food good sized kitchen dining area uh, smoking room Bedrooms, guest rooms, main bedroom, washroom. I've got some good um, ideas for detail and stuff as well. It's, it's going to be a really uh, detailed build, and I've got some pretty crazy ideas for some other things as well. Let's see, I can't quite reach that. Jump. Yeah, I made it. Wow, I actually was not expecting that. Um, nope, I didn't want that one. Out one more. There. Okay. A bit more. Okay, yep, and we'll join this up. Let's bring that up one there. Makes a nice shape. Keep this bit low. Is that uh, solid? It is solid. Um, like that. Then I actually want to make this down. See that instead of just filling it in, the way to get a nice bit of angle is let's go down instead. And we'll go under. Whoops. If it's too thick in some places, that doesn't matter. Like I said, we're going to be giving it a, a nice lining soon. Uh, nope, don't like that one. I want one sort of right here, so let's just oh, you know what? That's good. And bring this across. This part of the hill seems very steep. I'm going to keep it that way. So quite a few, sort of two high drops. Do, do, do. 
I must jump down there, I'm a bit of a perception issue. I'm still playing on my very tiny screen. And what I've done is I've got this tiny screen, but I've also got the TV plugged into it so I can stream movies and TV shows uh, from my computer to the TV screen. But it's not convenient for me to set my computer up so that I can see the TV screen. So I've set the TV as the default monitor and duplicate the output. So my, my little square, t um, square monitor has this sort of squashed image, but the video comes out looking good. <laughs> it's a very roundabout way. Now I will wait till this grows a bit more grass before I make any adjustments so I can see how it looks. Overall though, I think it's looking pretty good. I've still got to do this whole side over there, so I might go do that and then come back and we'll see how it looks. And we're back. I can't remember, did I show off the front of the house? This is an entire new day recording now. Um, hear the chickens from Ofa's chicken shop underneath there. Um, I, if I had not showed off the front, then I've loaded, lowered this uh, window. Hobbit holes aren't supposed to usually have stairs. I like everything pretty flat, so I thought it would make more sense to have it sort of on, in line with the door. Uh, I might put it up one more than that. I'm not quite sure yet. There are going to be other windows um, and features along the outside. Now the question is, do I show you the outside first or the inside? Let's go outside. And I'll show you. Pretty much just went around after I finished some building it and spam bone mill. The trick is you do it and then you break some as well so it's not too solid. So it's a bit of a artistic experience. As well as building it, you've got to decorate it to make it look realistic. I haven't quite finished blending it in over in this part here. That all needs a bit more blending, but overall... I think I've managed to get a fairly realistic looking feel to the thing. It's got some nice randomness to it. So this is all man-made, or hobbit made as we like to say. I like that. I want to get some different flowers, some of those nice blue ones from the swamp biome. The dot around the place as well. I think that would add a nice little bit of colour. And that one. Uh, yeah, this is all and made that wall this if we break here and go down we should end up back inside there's another bit I was trying to connect there but yeah more or less so that digs straight into that solid wall there I will just block that back up again uh, where did I come down now was it here yeah just so we don't get unexpected guests coming through there. And this is the inside. So the next stage is going to be clear out the entire floor and replace it whichever the wood, with whichever wood I'm going to use. I think I might be using... Um, I'm having trouble deciding between birch and spruce. Spruce is my favourite, but um, maybe oak for the actual floors and... Spruce for the supports. I'm going to try a few different things. We'll try it. Um, I'll show them on camera. And then we'll see how they look. But I've been looking up the designs, like I said before. And I'm going to come up with my own sort of unique variant on it. That also fits with the uh, landscape. I was thinking what to do for the rest of the video. I thought we could have a bit of a cruise around Spawn Town. Um, I want to wait till. I'm trying to think whose base that is. Tukey's base up there. I want to wait till he's back online so he can take me on a tour of that one. Um, I can certainly organise with Joe. Spice sends on. And I think, uh, who else is on? Charcoal. Prisoner. I said Charcoal. Charcoal's not even there. He is up top. He's um, AFK though. Um, do, 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 do. What to do? What to do? Ooh, nice little floating island over there. Go check out that. Pick a random place and have a look. Let's get there a bit quicker. Is that a good throw or a bad throw? Whoa, bad throw in the water. If that's Joe's floating island for a light or launching, I'm a bit nervous because this last time I tried to use my light last night and um, it ended up just killing me. It didn't activate. So I'm a little bit nervous about using any elytras. Very nice houses around here. There's a bit of water coming into the town. 
Where does that end up going? It sort of stops there. That should really sort of go underneath, I think. Hmm, if this was my area, I would raise this area up and have it go over and make a water go underneath. Does it go underneath at all? No, it just stops. Egad. I'm going to have to talk to people about that. It doesn't feel right. Because if this was, you know, real nature, then water running down here would erode this area. But you could build it up and make a little bridge there. All right. I have to find out who this belongs to. Let's have a look up here. Because this looks like a good place to end the lesson. End the lesson. End the recording session. All right. So let's have a look what's up here. Come on. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Nice, nice little man-made floating island. Something with hoppers going on here. What does this all lead to? Nothing at the moment. Someone's making some sort of automatic cooking machine, perhaps, up here. I see some item filters. Ah, it's a fishing farm. <laughs> nice. A sky fishing farm. An automatic cactus farm. That's a design I've used before. I haven't used trapdoors like that, though. That's clever. Makes it look neat. So the cactuses grow, they can't grow when there's a block next to them, so it grows and breaks and it drops down there. Goes somewhere. I see a chest under there. Yeah, there you go. What about cactus farm? Beautiful. I see some soul sand up there. That would be for the hoppers, for whatever this is. Interested to know. Having a bit of a sticky beak here. That's a fishing farm there. So what's this one? Is there some sort of mob farm up there? Um, ah, it's a mini farm. Stand here and you can, if you've got some sort of vegetable matter, you can plant it here. Nope. Got a bone mill there. It's not set up properly, or you got to... Ah, I flip the lever. It's a lever one. Stand here. Oop, you need to have the seeds in your hand. Like that. Beautiful. I've got to make me some of these ones as well. That'd be a very good idea. So that's what that is. That would be to feed, to feed the boat mill in. So is there a way to get up to the top here? I came in via the water and I'm looking for a way to get up to the surface. Would make sense to me. Mm, there might be a secret way up that I don't know and can't see. Oh well, I was hoping for a nice place to do a um, bit of a elytra launch at the end of the episode. Okay, so where's that water to get down again? Okay. I bet you there's a way to get up there without, like, enderpearling up. I could try an enderpearl up, that would do the trick, wouldn't it? Let's have a go at that. Uh, right about there. Sammy! Nice. That was a nice shot. Okay, so I have, I'll have to ask Joe where his Elytra thing is, because he has got an Elytra launching thing. It's got wings and everything set up. It's really cool. I'm going to find a place to jump off where I can land in water if I fail, because I'm not keen on dying yet again. So that should do. If I jump here and glide and it fails, we should be alright. You get a nice view from up here too. Everyone spawn builds. Um, I'm planning to spend probably a little bit more time between episodes working on the interior of the Hobbit Hole. But then I'm also going to get some stuff ready and we're going to go for a trek out towards where I want to build my main base, which is going to be in an ice bike biome. Um, it's a fair way out on the map, so it's going to be quite a few blocks even in the nether. And then we'll have to come up with um, a sign for another tunnel as well. I'll probably do that next episode, so I'm going to say goodbye for now. Go. And we're ready to try and take a flight here. I'm not going to do it in this F5 mode because I will definitely kill myself. So, here we go. Say goodbye to everyone and remember, it's not dangerous. I didn't make it. <laughs>